Hello, it's your host Galadon. What is going on fellow fans of Clash of Clans? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope that you are well and safe and healthy today. I know that it's a crazy world out there, but I thank you for taking a few moments of your day and hanging out with me. And yes, episode 64 of No Cash Clash. That's right, as we fly through Town Hall 9, you would not think that I have time to do anything else throughout the day because I'm sitting here playing No Cash Clash just about constantly. And, well, it's virtually true. I will admit to you guys, I am playing a lot of World War Doe right now. You know, I started that contest recently where if you download the game using my link, it's, it's in the description, and you find me, I will send you a gift card. All you have to do is battle my noob account called Find Galadon. But honestly, it is a hilarious game, and this is not a sponsored shout-out. I'm just letting you guys know the games I love to play, okay? Number one, of course, always is and will be Clash of Clans, but besides that, that's really the only other game that I'm consistently playing right now. And I do it between upgrades, between raids here at No Cash Clash, because, as you can see, the walls, they are a moving. Okay, so the goal here is to get rid of all of my level 8 walls. That is a primary goal of mine, simply because I will feel more like a Town Hall 9. Obviously, that and some big, mean heroes is going to be epic. But as you can see right here, we are working our way through. We're trying to get rid of the newer buildings. That lab is the bane of my existence. I cannot believe how slow things are over there already, even here at Town Hall 9. Everything else seems to go so much more quickly than the lab. And a couple of buildings underway, but here we go. You guys ready for this? Take a deep breath, and we begin what is 55,000 Dark Elixir in just two minutes. That's right, it's a brief time lapse of what I've been doing the last few days because I know that you guys don't want to see a whole bunch of Dragon Raids, and I want to do these anyway because I want to show you that I am getting a lot of Raids, and I'm getting a lot of Elixir, a lot of Dark Elixir, especially at Master League and at Crystal League. Although I was only in Masters for like a day, maybe even less than a day, it was just a couple of Raids because I realized that I need to drop down if I'm going to find the Elixir because there's too many tough bases that are much higher, and I don't need to be attacking a bunch of Town Hall 10s. Not like I need to win or anything like that, and we know we can beat a Town Hall 10 if we need to, but we're not going after the trophies, we're going after the percentage. Not at all, actually, we're going after the Dark Elixir, that's correct because we don't care about the trophies. We're going to go ahead and drop down, hit those Town Hall 9s to get more Dark Elixir. Eventually, that's the way things are going to work. You can see right here, we are getting tons of Dark Elixir, and we're going to slow down a little bit because it's getting a little bit tiring to talk like this, and we're not going to do it in the entire video, okay? So, yes, obviously, this is the plan. How many people already clicked away because they were annoyed? I hope you didn't. Let me know if you stuck around. If you stuck around for the fast gal on talking, please let me know down in the comments. I would feel bad if I scared you off. Okay, did you see that? Did you see that right there? That may have been the richest Town Hall 9 I have ever found. Over 1.1 million of gold and elixir available. The dark not quite as impressive in this raid. But again, because we fast forwarded this footage and showed you a time lapse of all the raids I've done over the last couple of days, you are seeing me grab over 55,000 dark elixir in the span of about two minutes. So I thought maybe we could compress things a little bit and that way everybody would be happy and you even got your 69% raid. Check this one out. One million of each plus 8.7 thousand dark elixir. This is what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if it's because of whatever cycle is happening in the game right now. And what I mean is clan games affects it, clan wars, CWL affects it, the different events affect it. How many bases you find that are dead or are super rich. And these raids were from a few days ago. Remember, you guys are a few days behind the actual live base. If you want to see how the base looks right now, you need to stop by a live stream every night at 7 p.m. Pacific time, fb.gg slash Gaming. Make sure you stop by and make sure you let me know that you came by because of a YouTube video. Okay, so there is a big raid, lots of big raids, but let's go ahead and get down into, well, you know what? A commercial break. Well, a commercial break, that's right, because sometimes when Galadon is not spending money on his accounts many, many, many days in a row, it's nice to take a break and get to spend a little bit of money on an account for a future gemming episode. And the only reason I get to do this is because you guys, like you saw on the screen, use code Galadon. Don't forget to go to settings, more settings, and scroll all the way down to the basement of Clash of Clans. You can type in my name, G-A-L-A-D-O-N, and it doesn't cost you anything. I will get a small piece, a small commission, and I will take that money. And of course, I'll spend some of it in the game. I mean, I'll, I'll admit, I'll spend a lot of it in the game, but I try to make videos that are entertaining for you guys where you see this. And of course, 
I will be giving to charity and back to you guys in giveaways. So, all right, that little commercial break where we actually bought some stuff was it's an antidote to being over here and feeling the grind. And I realize that many people don't have that. So thank you guys again for your support. And we're off to the builder base. Okay, so the builder base, we're getting ready to go to Builder Hall 5. You can see the lab is fully maxed out. That right there, the gem mine was the last upgrade to a building. Now the only other upgrades are going to be walls. So speaking of walls, let's go back to the home village and do some more level eight to level nine walls. We're getting closer. We do fast forward through these because it's a little bit tedious and I try to you know, organize the walls so that people don't get super annoyed trying to get the lines to match up and that sort of thing. So for now, that's how it's gonna look. And you can see we are most of the way through level eight walls, excited about that. We're gonna go grab that treasury loot and we are going to spend it. We've got three free builders right now and both heroes are already down. So the gold mine, the elixir collector are generally the two buildings that I've been focusing on the most simply because they have so many levels to try to catch up. And this is one, okay, I've put this off for a while. Okay, this is not going to be fun, but we are going to start on the barracks one at a time and that is going to slow down the production of units significantly which does kind of stink uh, it's going to slow down the raids but i figure you've got to do it sooner or later right so we're going to do it during these days that i'm playing off and on all day long that way if an army takes 40 minutes instead of 25 to train i can live but you know for live streams well we'll probably use the training potions and whatnot there all right elixir collector gets up one more level and back over to the builder base side because we just needed one more victory to secure another wall upgrade. Wait a minute, here it is. All right, here it is, 300,000 gold for a wall upgrade. Now, it was at about this point that I realized we're still like two weeks away from upgrading to Builder Hall 5. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go early. I, I cannot wait 11 more walls. There's just going to be too much elixir being wasted. So we'll do that probably in the next episode or two. Back at home, another day of raiding, another day of wall upgrades. This time we've got two builders free again. And notice, yes, the Barb King and the Archer Queen are down. They're rotating, meaning they're constantly down. And at this point we have 136,000 Dark Elixir. So we need them to wake up soon so we can put them back to sleep. Not really exciting, but thank you guys though. Hey. Really, I sincerely appreciate your patience. You guys keep on leaving these really cool comments saying you're enjoying this series, even though I've been raiding without heroes for what, like two weeks so far? It's been insane, and the reward is going to be fun because we will be wrecking bases with maxed out heroes for Town Hall 9 before you know it. And speaking of before you know it, where, where did they go? Slacking off, there they were, hiding, trying not to get put down for another, you ready for this? Three days each. Three days each, holy cow. I, you know, one of these days, I'm just gonna spend the gems and, oh, 500 gems. Okay, so it's 500 gems. So that's essentially, I could do that twice, three times, four, I can't do math. Somebody tell me, I don't know, forget it. Books of Heroes, we'll wait for Books of Heroes. Wait, those are 500 gems too. Son of a parents, I, I give up. Seriously, it's gonna be weeks and weeks, you guys. Okay, back over here. The balloons are just about done, and then we can switch over to maybe Balloonion. Uh, yeah, I think Minions, 40,000 Dark. I should have enough Dark. Notice I have 58,000 Dark right now, and no heroes for a full 72 hours. So I think that we're doing fine on Dark Elixir. Speaking of, let's upgrade this drill as the last up. Wait, hold on. Let's do some walls because we're trying to get rid of those level eight walls, and then we'll do a Dark Elixir drill as the last upgrade of this episode, I think. That probably makes the most sense. Again, not focusing on defense as much as I am focusing on resources and raiding on offense. That is what the village looks like as of right now. Gotta get the Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower to catch up, and okay, this Dark Elixir drill, maybe we can send it up for 1.5 million, and that probably should be enough. There we go. All right, and that keeps us poor. We like being poor because we don't want to get raided for too much. Okay, status report. Let's get into it because, well, not a lot has changed over here. In fact, we've lost a whopping three trophies since last episode, but we did change things up a bit, and here we go. Hero status report. Barbarian King, 16. Archer Queen, 15. Okay, so that's a change, right? It's something sort of 
exciting. Okay, Dark Elixir is the same as it was before. And for our next goals, that's right, you knew it. We need to reorganize the status report screen because now that I changed some of the things that I'm tracking, it just feels awkward. Like it needs to be changed, but I'm not sure how. And that's it. That's all there is for today. Thank you guys for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You're the true hashtag gal fam. I love thinking about it. Appreciate every single one of you every single day. So stay inside, wash your hands, be careful, be loved. I used up all my fast talking. I had none left for the day. Sorry. <laughs>